Wilson Products Golden Hot Series and the next product to discuss is the 1 inch professional ceramic crimping iron. Now I am a big fan of crimp irons. I have a crimp iron that I've been using for 10 years which happens to be by Golden Hot so um, I am excited to actually try this one out. So I'm going to open this up. So it's kind of like a zigzag shape, crimp. Not the wavy crimp, but the zigzag. On this crimp iron, there's finger rest for two-handed styling on both sides. So when you're crimping your hair, you can touch it here. An eight foot swivel cord. And inside is the on and off switch. And there's a real stack control right here for temperature variation. So you can change your temperature here. And inside the dial, there's numbers for the temperature. And the temperature goes all the way to 430 degrees. These crimp irons also have ceramic plates. So if you're a fan of ceramic flat irons, this would be perfect for you. And it says that this golden hot iron is gentle on all hair types. It eliminates static and frizz, and it locks in deep conditioning for silky hair. And it keeps hair hydrated and healthy looking. So when I do my crimps, I'm going to see if it does just that. All right, so I've been wearing my hair in a bun all week, so this is just bunned out. <laughs> this is a flat iron from two weeks ago. I'm going to go ahead and begin crimping on my hair. Now, it took me about five minutes for me to allow these to heat up. I do want to let you guys know, when I heated this up, I began to smell a burning smell. Don't be alarmed, it may be just because it's the first use, but it was stronger than usual. So just letting you know, I experienced that maybe you have too. But they appear to be all warmed up, so before I begin, I want to go over what I will be using on these crimps. I'll be using my wide tooth comb for parting and my rat tail comb if I need it for parting. In order to hold good crimps, I tend to use um, some type of grease or a curl wax. I don't have any curl wax, but I do have good old and faithful Blue Magic grease. I do not recommend anyone to use grease unless you moisturized your hair first. The thing with grease is it is not moisturizing. Yes, it may look shiny. Yes, it may make it look healthy, but it's only a disguise. Um, the thing with grease is it has petroleum jelly in it. So it has those components that will make it look shiny or it will make it look weighed down but it doesn't have any type of moisturizing components in it. So I only suggest for you to use this after you moisturize your hair, otherwise it's just false hopes. So um, I've already moisturized my hair. I do it every night. So my hair is moisturized and now when I put this in, it seals the moisture because it has petroleum jelly that latches on and it coats the hair. So now that my hair is moisturized, I can use this without any problems. I just want to let you guys know this itself will not solve your issues. If you have any moisture issues, don't go this route. Go the natural route, use some oils, you know, argan oil, uh, 
Jamaican black castor oil, olive oil, tea tree oil, whatever kind of oil that works best for you. Even a moisturizer, you know, Cantu Shea Butter. Um, there's a lot of things that you can go after, but make sure it's not a grease. So I'm going to start off by taking a section of my hair. Let's see. I'll start right here. I'll just take this section. I'm gonna comb through it here. I'm gonna coat just a little bit. And I'll zoom in. with this just a little bit you don't want to weigh it down too much but it gives you a nice shine on your crimps that's what I come to find out I'm just get my ends as well and I'm gonna take the crimp iron I'm gonna start up here clamp down raise it up go to the next and it doesn't have to stay on your hair for long. And again, it is a zigzag shape. So if you want something nice and edgy, different, I definitely say you can go for these. These are not your traditional crimp irons. And that's what the crimp looks like. Now this is a hate it or love it crimp. You're gonna either hate it or love it, but it is something different. So I'm gonna just do that for the perimeter of my hair. So I'm gonna just do that for the crown, the perimeter. just for a few seconds, not long at all. Now it does have these here, so I'm gonna touch it. I, I can feel a little bit of heat, but it's not excruciating. It's just like the last product. You can definitely feel it up here. I would not touch it just because I'm okay using it this way, but if you must, it's not that bad. You can feel heat, but it's okay. This is what the pattern looks like. You like it? I think I love it. It's actually pretty cute. I normally wouldn't go for this type of crimp, but it looks very edgy. I don't know what some of you may say towards me using grease on my hair for these curls, but I've been doing this for years. I haven't had any issues. So I guess it's personal preference on what you want to do. Some people use spritz and hairspray before they do it. I can't do that. I don't like my hair to be hard. This still makes it feel soft, just, um, it makes it feel soft, but it doesn't feel brittle. So be careful when it goes to your ends. It's best to put a lot of, not a lot of grease, but make sure you concentrate some of your grease towards the ends of your hair so that you uh, can provide a layer of protection on those ends. And you can do different patterns. You can you can crimp it close, or you can space it out and crimp it further down like I did in this one. You can kind of see it's more spaced out than this one. So you can play around with it and really, really get a style that you really like. And this one, I had them more close. This one, I'm, I had them a little bit of space in between. gives me a 90s vibe. You know, back in the day, crimps were everything. I wore my 93 shirt today to be inspired by 
the 90s, which is my favorite era. The 90s are so dope. And I curled my hair at 400 degrees. So overall, I really, really like these crimps. I normally don't go for this type of style. I like the big wavy crimps, you know, the one that kind of give you like that island feel. But this is so popping. Why y'all didn't tell me to get this before? You guys, I love it. I love it. So Golden Hot, I love them. I love them. Uh, one thing I'll say is, they turned off pretty fast. I just turned them off and they're already cooling down. But uh, I won't be using these every day. Um, these are special occasion just because I want to promote healthy hair and curling and straightening and crimping and doing all of those excess things to my hair um, does not promote healthy hair. So I will use this in moderation, but whenever I want a style that, you know, that's popping, something that's edgy, this is definitely one of my top go-to styling tools. So if you are interested in this golden hot one inch professional crimping iron, and it is a zigzag shape, they have others, but this one I chose was a zigzag. So um, I definitely love it. I can't wait to rock it today when I go out with my friends. But um, if you have any questions or if you want any more information about my first use, just let me know. Send a comment. Tell me what style you rocked in the 90s. What style was your favorite? So next week I have a surprise for you. I have a throwback video, so stay tuned for that. It is a golden hot tool that I do have that I've had for over 10 years. So if you guys want to know the reliability, the durability of their products, I definitely say it's there. They haven't changed. I know there's other brands that I've used. When they started out, awesome. When everyone caught wind of their products, horrible. Like they went down with quality so that they can produce more product. And so that really made me upset. And I'm not going to name the brand, but um, I have a throwback, so stay tuned for an upcoming video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Ow! <laughs> Peace, love, and hair grease.